for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. It's the Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got an update video for you guys. That's right. I didn't expect to do any more update videos. I think the last update video I put out, I said it was pretty much going to be the last one. Uh, they don't do player ratings updates anymore since the season's over. But this is a big update that a lot of people have been waiting for. This is the eighth title update of the year. Uh, it's the beginning of season four when it comes to Mutt, which I'll go over in a minute. Uh, but it's also got a lot of new superstars and X Factors, which I know is something that a lot of people have been asking for because in my last video, uh, that was one of my most commented comments was people asking what about the changes of X Factors and stuff like that. So this is the end of season superstar X Factor update, which I'll go over here in a minute. But before I do, as always, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Uh, if you want me to continue to do update videos like this, as they come out i can't expect too many more based off of the fact that this is you know the season's pretty much done as far as football i know we still have draft season coming up here uh, and i'm sure that ea will have stuff around that but i don't think you're going to see a lot more updates for madden 23 i'm sure that they're doing their full um, you know, their full work right now to get Madden 24 ready. Because if you guys haven't heard, it's, it's a make or break year, meaning that people, the heads are going to roll if they don't, uh, you know, I, I don't really believe that. I believe that that's the press release that they're putting out. But, you know, if you guys haven't heard, uh, there's a lot of rumors that uh, people are going to be getting fired if, if Madden 24 doesn't fix some of the issues that it had in Madden 23 or just doesn't get the game uh, going in the right direction. So, let's go and let's get into uh, some of the, um, you know, let's get let's get some of the, the, the mutt stuff out of way we have like i said season four game changers coming out uh first ever 99 overall john madden player item i don't, I don't even know what that is i'm not huge in the mud this year because like i said mud to me just feels like a cash grab feels like the same thing over and over but it looks like the guy that they're really pushing is megatron so i mean you know everybody's got a god squad now anyway so who really cares like i said not really a mud channel this year too much so apologies for that if you're in the mud but not a lot going on. I mean, it's, you know, just, I'm sure you're following a much channel. <laughs> Either way, let's get to the gameplay updates because there was a few gameplay updates. Not too many. General stability fixes being one of the, uh, you know, they always add to the to the line. But uh, fix an issue where the user control quarterback could not snap the ball after a specific ID, uh, the mic animation would trigger, uh, which is something that I mentioned in the past. Somebody told me in the comment section, if you just hit the, uh, the right trigger a couple times real quick, it should break you out of that. I'm hoping that's what they talk about because it is kind of annoying and a lot of people don't know how to fix that. And if you don't know how to fix that, you easily get a, a delay of game penalty, which is kind of dumb. Uh, address an issue where RPO alert and RPO read plays out of certain formations would cause weak box logic to trigger resulting in multiple pancake blocks occurring all over the field. Uh, this is something I didn't even know that there was plays that did that, but I'm glad that they fix it if that's the case. I mean, they always say they fix things they don't necessarily always fix, but hopefully they fix that because that would be really annoying to play against somebody that knew a play like that that would just be pancaking people. That might be like the gun monster stack. I've heard a, a lot of people say that's a really glitchy formation, so that would make sense if that's that. Let me know in the comment section if you guys know more about any of these glitches than I do because I don't follow other people's glitches. I make my own. Uh, next up, we got the Madden Ultimate Team updates. Updated auction house and uh, trade block logic restrictions for uh, legend program items. So I don't really understand that. Um, <clears throat> maybe people are figuring out a way to get uh, cards really cheap and stuff. I don't really know. They're always trying to trying to mess with people in that in that regard. Other than that. Um, you know, that's pretty much it. So let's go and let's get to the, the part that everybody's waiting for, which is the, uh, you know, the demoted stars and uh, the demoted X-Factors will do first before we get to the players that got new X-Factors and, and got new superstar abilities. Starting off with superstars, Ryan Ramchek, no longer a superstar. Rodney Hudson, no longer a superstar. Um, which, you know, sounds funny. I mean, it's, it's weird to think of Lyman as superstars in the first place. Uh, Eric Kendricks, no longer a superstar. I don't know if he had a down year in Minnesota, I'm not really sure. Joe Mixon, no longer a superstar. He had a really bad year, and that bad year has continued into the offseason, if you guys have heard about uh, his, uh, his shooting incident, which I'm not going to go into too much. Uh, but he's having a lot of off-the-field troubles, which i got to be honest, most people probably expected when he got drafted. I mean, let's be real. He had, there's already a viral video of him, like, punching a woman in a bar. So it's not really surprising that he's continuing to have problems. Not necessarily the best person. Uh, he probably would have been a first-round pick otherwise. Russell Wilson, no longer a superstar. You think? I mean, that took long enough. Russell Wilson had an amazingly bad year. One of the worst years I could ever remember for a superstar player to change teams. And then came plummeting to earth. 
Uh, Miles Jack, no longer a superstar. I didn't even know he was. Good player, but that's weird. I never really thought of him as a superstar. Zayvon Howard, no longer a superstar. That one I kind of, I'm not really sure about. Next up, we got demoted X-Factors. Khalil Mack, who I thought had a pretty decent year, but for some reason continuously dropped in the ratings every week. Um, he's no longer a superstar. Cam Jordan, no longer a superstar. A very consistent player. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, this one here. I mean, that's going to change. I might not see the Packers anymore. If you're not, if he doesn't have all his abilities like he did in the past, um, that's crazy because the Packers are probably one of the most used teams. I'm sure a lot of hearts are broken with J with Aaron Rodgers not being a superstar, which I don't necessarily agree with. I know he didn't have a great year. I know the Packers didn't have a great year, but I don't necessarily agree with that. I mean, I still think of him as a superstar. He's still in every damn commercial you see, so it's really weird to think of him not as a superstar. Jonathan Taylor, not a superstar. Also, disagree heavily. Jonathan Taylor's a guy who, you know, he had an injury-riddled year, came back down to earth. He's, he's an amazing player, still like a top three running back easily. Darius Leonard, another guy, injury-riddled year, definitely a superstar player, one of the most turnover-prone linebackers in the game. Maybe, the you know, one of the best linebackers in the game easily. How is he no longer a superstar? Just one bad year. Chandler Jones, no longer a superstar. I'm not really sure what he did, if I'm being honest. Uh, so that's that's the list for the guys that lost all these abilities. Let's go and let's get to the ones that got them. New X Factors. One of the league's leading rushers, Josh Jacobs, um, got. I think he led the league in rushing, but he also I think he was also was he first in uh, all total yards too. So if you guys don't know what wrecking ball is, when he enters the zone, he has an increased chance of uh, you know a higher success rate on trucks and stiff arms. Additional abilities, backfield master, which I'm pretty sure is like different route options you can create from your from your hot routes adjustments. Backlash and closer. Dexter Lawrence, uh, defensive tackle. I'm not sure if he's a nose, what he is. Great player. Um, he got blitz, which basically, once he enters the zone, all the offensive linemen are going to block much less because they lose their uh, all their blocking resistance bars get wiped out. So the entire pass rush of the Giants will be better when he's in the zone. Uh, he also has inside stuff, El Toro and Unpredictable. Uh, Jamar Chase. Another guy, people have been calling for him to be uh, on this list for a long time. He got double me, which is something that makes, you know, 100% makes sense. Um, he's going to be an animal now. Uh, also got mid in elite, mid out elite, and run off elite. All those things make sense. Great player. Next up, we got Patrick Sertain the second, another guy who I thought already got promoted into these ranks, uh, but I guess I was wrong. He got um, shut down. Which is typical. Pretty much every cornerback that has, uh, you know, the superstar ability is in that is in basically a shutdown. Uh, then he also has outside shade, short route KO, and tip drill. Roquan Smith, who went to uh, Baltimore and had a, an amazing year, although he's, you know, he's been an amazing player for a while, got reinforcement, uh, and he also got tackle. His abilities were tackle supreme, flat zone KO, and deflator. Then uh, Jair Alexander's got his back. I'm pretty sure that he lost his, and now he's got it back because he definitely, you know, he had a, a rough stretch in the season. They finished the season really strong, uh, but he got shut down back. Also has outside shade, acrobat, and short route KO. Uh, Sauce Gardner, another superstar ability. Uh, it says new superstar, but it only really says that he has acrobat and inside shade. So like I said, if you look at the list, there was seven guys demoted on superstars and six guys demoted on X-Factors. Only one new superstar and only one, two, three, four, five, six new uh, replacement X-Factors. So I don't know why, it, it, I don't really know what, how the math works out here. But at the end of the day, um, I don't know. Maybe, I mean, we all know that next year is going to be like a copy and paste anyway. So maybe they just, you know, are opening up spots for next year. I don't know. I don't see Jalen Hurts. It's kind of weird. That's the one thing I always say. Where's Jalen Hurts every time? Where's Jalen Hurts? Why does he not have a superstar ability yet? Doesn't make sense to me. Uh, or, you know, at the very least, uh, an X Factor. You know what I mean? Why doesn't he have that? He has, super, he, has, he has abilities, but he doesn't have an X Factor. So that's my one complaint. Other than that, this is a very short video. If you guys want me to contain them, make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button, leave them in the comment section. Other than that, it's going to let's end the video there. Uh, thanks for watching, man. Let's out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.